Hello everyone, it's Dark Audit here with Wolfie, the guy next to me, where he's flying there. And we're here with a sort of biome slash terraforming tutorial. He made this full concept and he made the trees and all, I didn't really do anything. So thanks to him for <laughs> making all of this and allowing me to make a tutorial of this. So you guys could sort of recreate it if you want to, but yeah, let's start. <laughs> first thing you want to do is create some actual terrain. I'm not going to go into really depth about how to make this sort of small hill. The comments are just in the description that we just made. Or Wolfie just made a small hill. Um, so there's a bit more height difference. Of course, there should be a slightly more and more hills scattered around. But you can do that on your own, we just sort of made this for demonstration. But once you have done that, you want to create a tree. This is quite similar to my oak tree video. The bottom part is a bit thicker, but you can change that to something smaller if you like it. As you can see, we have a big trunk. Like, it's really quite thick at the bottom, but then it starts to smaller down as it goes up and then we have quite a few branches um, I also changed the, all the logs to all sided log and the command for that is in the description the, all the commands are in the way of use in the description so it's really easy to follow which one you want to use next and it, it's really simple just create a few branches about two or three and then split them up again and then maybe split them up one more time. But once you have done that, you want to place like a glass block, a sponge block in the middle. And then we're gonna use Voxel Sniper to create the leaves. Comments in the description again. And just keep clicking with the arrow until the tree looks something like this. Not too much sponge, but it needs to be quite, it needs to be a bit. Or you can do more if you want to. This one. It's a sort of small tree. And what you want to do next is just edit it by hand, as you see Wolfie doing right here. Because there's a lot of air. It's on some places there's too much air, on some places there's like no air, and you just want to create a few more holes to make it look a bit better. Mainly, you want to create a uh, sort of bit more height at the top, a little bit height variation like one block and then in the replace command to change this bunch to the sort of red yellow leaves and here Wolfie we'll makes another tree the same principle but then on a bigger scale it's just sped up so it wouldn't take as long in the video but as you can see it's the same way um, the other tree was made and then we paste it in in the actual terrain Make sure you have at least three or four trees with this we just made or he made two for the video because well, otherwise it would take a really long time. And you can also rotate them, you know, just to same slash slash rotate and then 90 degrees and 90 again. You can rotate them so they don't look uh, quite the same. He did that here, like rotate them a bit so they're, they're uh, like all of them are the same. They don't really look too similar because they're rotated. But make so make sure you rotate them for a bit more variation. And here we had the kind of issue. We tried to do a slash slash flora, but that didn't fully cover it. So there's a bridge in the description if it uh, if the flora command didn't work for you. But make sure you don't um, click near the trees, otherwise the logs will be removed because there's likely to be grass underneath the logs and then um, it just replaces the, the bottom layer of logs with grass but then we run uh, here and another couple of replace commands so there's some flowers and a bit of pumpkins and melons scattered around and also some more ferns now um, we're gonna add some small details to the map just create some small logs it's quite simple you wanna have them about two blocks high maybe three blocks for a big one but not really higher than that just create them out of stone and once you have done all of that you can simply replace them 
that's a bit easier to do it. It just goes quicker unless you want to have a, a really like specific detail that every uh, boulder has the certain blocks then you need to do it by hand but if you don't have a lot of time it's easier to just do it all in one go and then next up we're gonna add some leaves to the to the terrain it makes it look like more of a forest sort of biome which it is because we didn't as you can see the biome is, isn't forest but we updated it but um, the replay mode doesn't show the biome got updated so you want to change the biome to forest, it will just look a lot greener. Unless you want to keep the plains biome, of course, but the forest looks nicer to me. And then we'll see that as last detail is just add some random leaves and a path for this making first. But um, the dirt was decaying on my server because I had the grass spread enabled. So if you do this in a normal Minecraft world or if you don't have the grass plant turned off, then the normal dirt will disappear and uh, you just want to have like only coarse dirt, although it looks kind of strange. So you could do a little bit of potzel to change up the texture. And here he's gonna add some uh, of those yellow and red leaves all around the map. But that's the build pretty much done. It isn't that hard to do. The trees are definitely the hardest part, so if you don't understand anything, you can just ask me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and leave a like if you did. And like once again, thanks to Wolfie for for helping me with this while doing all of this sort of. <laughs> so yeah, bye bye.